Hello ladies and gents, Rook here, and welcome to Nono Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2 tutorials, and in this tutorial we're going to cover the layout of Final Cut Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it, and go up to the very top and go to Final Cut Pro, about Final Cut Pro, and show you guys that I am running on the latest version, which is version 10.2. Now to begin, let's just go ahead and cover the entire layout of what everything is and where everything is. Just in case yours doesn't look anything like mine, as soon as you opened it, you can go ahead and go to this window option at the very top and then go to revert to original layout. This will bring it to your original layout, it's the standard layout. If you already have projects and footage in here, it won't delete it. It's going to keep it there. It's just going to put it your Final Cut Pro to its original layout. Now, I'm going to, just for tutorial purposes, I'm going to minimize this just a tiny bit. I mean, make it a little bit smaller so everybody can see it. And then uh, let's begin and go ahead and cover everything. If your libraries here doesn't show, you can go ahead and then show it by going to the middle section here. It says show and hide libraries. Go ahead and click that and it will show your libraries. You may not have any libraries there as of right now. That's fine. We'll cover that in the next tutorial. But here you'll have your libraries, which is going to be your events. And within the events, you'll have your projects. And then within the projects, you'll have your footage. But uh, the event, we've got libraries. we got the where you can import the media. You'll have projects here. And you'll also have your imported media or footage or uh, photos. And then here on the right-hand side, we have our actual... Um, footage that you'll be able, if you scroll over it, it'll show it in this window here and you can adjust this so it fits or you can adjust it to how you like it and also you can change the view of it if depending on how, what kind of camera angle you're using but that will be later on in the future. Then also we have our moving on like I said we have our show and hide libraries option. This little tool here shows you how you want to sort your clips then also we have you can have a film strip view or list view and then also moving on here, you can change the size of your clips. And then just to the right of it, you can also change the clip height. And then you can also enable and disable show wave formats. Here you have uh, cropping options for the actual clip that may be showing here. And then you can pause and play or go to the beginning or to the end of the clip. Also, you got full screen. You can go ahead and go full screen if you want to view your clip. Now moving on to down to the next line, you have also another import media option from a device camera. And if you can also click this to import or you can simply drag and drop your uh, media inside here and it'll import it as well. Now here we have our three stars and an X. This is favoriting, this is unrating, and this is uh, basically rejecting a clip. And uh, that's standard for my movie if you've used that movie previously with me. Then also you can search by keywords and uh, set up keyword short shortcuts as well. Now these are a way to insert clips. You can connect the selected clips to the primary storyline or you can insert it at the beginning or in, in the center. Then here you have your main tools. You have select, trim, position, range selection, blade, zoom, and hand. At the right hand side here you also have the shortcut keys. It's very important you memorize these shortcut keys because it will definitely come in handy. You'll be able to move smoothly as you're using this application. Then we have our main, uh, your timer, basically it tells you exactly where you're in the clip and you can change the, you can change where you want to go to the clip. Let's say I want to go to 10 seconds and uh, hit enter, it's going to take me straight to 10 seconds. Also, you can uh, see if you click right here on the 100%, tell you what the background tax, tasks are doing within Final Cut Pro. And then also you can enable and disable your audio on the right hand side here by simply clicking right here next to the actual uh, the time and uh, you hear you this helps you view um, basically how loud the sound is and left right which audio is going which is not and uh, I'm gonna actually keep that enabled for now then we have our enhanced tool and we have uh, retime and then um, move, moving on we'll, we'll cover these more on as we go along then we have our effects window there's several different effects you can find within this window that you can use and then we have our photos import photos and then you also got uh, music you can go to sound effects from here as well and uh, final cut sound effects and then we also have our transitions just like the standard as we've seen in iMovie and then also we have our texts and uh, titles then we have our generators. They're called generators, but there's several backgrounds here, still frames that you can use to actually put into your uh, movie. And then also we have uh, 
these are called, I believe they're called like themes, yeah. They're basically animated backgrounds that you can use and some of them actually have text implements. You can uh, insert text into them and it makes it look pretty cool. These are often used, for, I would say, for like intros and of that sort. Now next to it, to the right, we have the inspector tool. This is going to be used very often. As you can see here, if you click it, it enables this extra third window, I mean the fourth window at the very top. And this is going to be used as soon as you select a clip within your project, you're going to use the inspector to edit that clip. For example, uh, zoom in, crop, change color, adjust, any of those items, rotate, uh, those are all going to be in your inspector. And then finally, not by, not least, the most important one is the share option, which is going to be right here to the right. And you can share to all sorts of destinations and you can even include your own, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to hide this uh, themes tab and we'll go to our timeline, which is the final here and the timeline everybody should know the timeline this is where you'll put in your project this is where your, all your project and your your entire movie comes together here and then uh, here we also have our uh, audio skimming you can enable it or turn it off here and also <laughs> audio skimming actually this is video and audio skimming on off this is audio skimming on off then we got the solo select items not you haven't quite used that yet myself but we will get into it and then we also have the snapping and then going on at the very bottom here, we also have a listing. Um, basically, you can find anything that you may have uh, imported and uh, search for it by tags, roles, or clips. You can also um, limit it down to a video, audio, or title, or all, and just search it through the listing here. And then also we have, finally, I'm going to actually close this out. Um, we have the zoom in and zoom out factor of the timeline. If, for example, if it's too big or too small, you can go ahead and zoom in and zoom out. And then just to the right of it, you have adjusting ad additional adjusting features to how you can actually view your timeline and uh, what you want to view in your timeline. And this comes in handy very much. Like I said, we'll be covering all of this again as we go through all of our tutorials. But in that, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Catch you guys next tutorial and later. So let my life